people are just like you know out there getting veneers and whatever the case may be like my life is literally ruined because I got my teeth redone like I'm not even joking like my I'm constantly in pain I can't even close my mouth properly after a retainer every single day 24 7 pretty much to even close my mouth comfortably no bite adjustments can fix it nothing I've done 100 bite adjustments I've gone to 10 different dentists four different tmj doctors i've done integrative medicine i've done acupuncture i've done everything you could possibly i've done hypnosis i've literally done everything you could possibly do to try to fix these issues i've been called crazy by my primary care doctor it's 100 tv now before i start this video i just want to tell everybody love yourself man stop following these trends bbls white teeth big hips just love yourself take a look in the mirror and love who god made man god made you that way just deal with it man and whoever is going through some pain right now just know that i've been there and i'm with you and i understand man and you are not alone my heart goes out to this young female named winter that went and got her teeth done man and this dentist in miami done messed up this girl's teeth man to the point where every day this woman is living in pain man so let's check out this footage right here, man, because this is a sad story and this story needs to be shared. So other people that are thinking about getting veneers, they could be aware of what these dentists be doing out there, man, because everything that glitters ain't gold. But let's check out this footage right here. People are just like, you know, out there getting veneers and whatever the case may be. Like, my life is literally ruined because I got my teeth redone. Like, I'm not even joking. Like my i'm constantly in pain i can't even close my mouth properly after a retainer every single day 24 7 pretty much to even close my mouth comfortably no bite adjustments can fix it nothing i've done 100 bite adjustments i've gone to 10 different dentists four different tmj doctors i've done integrative medicine i've done acupuncture i've done everything you could possibly i've done hypnosis i've literally done everything you could possibly do to try to fix these issues i've been called crazy i gotta talk with this weird thing in my mouth now do you think that this is something that's cute and very baddie like this is not giving bad me this is giving orthodontist at eight years old mm -hmm. but it's cool though i learned my lessons i made my mistakes i made two mistakes the first one i got a bbl obviously you guys know that ended up botched but even when i got that bbl i spent fourteen thousand dollars on that bbl I thought I was making the right decision. I was staying in California. I wasn't going out the country. Like, you know, I did my research, all that. But the fact of the matter is, when you get these procedures, BBL, veneers, you really don't know what's going to happen until it happens. That's just the fact of the matter. The reason why I'm so vocal about it is because I don't want other people to make the same mistake. And if they are going to do what I did, at least just be prepared that this is a possibility. Because... I promise you, with this whole veneer situation, I did not even know it was a possibility to have these kind of complications almost two years later. Did not have any clue because my first of stuff that I have been dealing with for two years because of my freaking teeth is like, I don't even know what to do anymore. And like the only place I can really go to is my platforms. As everybody pretty much knows, Two years ago, I had um, dental work done. I smelled Dental Center 32 in Miami and it ruined my life. Like literally ruined my life. And I'm still dealing with it to this day. And I just left another doctor, another TMJ doctor. This is the third or fourth one that I've gone to. And I'm just very overwhelmed like the medical industry the dental industry in america is like they literally do not care about what you are going through like everything is about money for them and like i understand like people have to get paid but it's like the fact that like i can't i can't do anything like i can't use insurance i can't do anything i've already spent eighty thousand dollars pretty much on this whole situation in two years and I go to another TMJ doctor because I have severe TMJ now because of the veneers that they did. They, they, they lost my bite. I have severe TMJ. I got my teeth redone. It, it didn't fix it. 
that was another thirty thousand dollars i just had an appointment and like you know they're telling me like okay we could do this we could do this and it you know it could it could be a big money pit and you know it could be you know another 80k and you know it might not work like i was spending so much money with so many doctors just praying that something works for me and nothing works nothing ever works i don't know what to do anymore like i can't even sue the freaking dentist every every time i come on here telling my story about what happened which is a crazy ass story i'm like just sue why don't you sue if i could sue that would be the first thing i'm i'm doing but i can't do that i can't do that it's, it's not possible like can't sue for my sensory issues my sensory issues are unknown every time i go to a doctor they've never heard of it and you can't prove that they gave you these issues because there's no way to diagnose it specifically like Mm -hmm. it's just a whole thing they offered to give me my money back within the first year and i told them no so that i could bring awareness so out there getting veneers and whatever the case may be like my life is literally ruined because i got my teeth redone like i'm not even joking like my i'm constantly in pain i can't even close my mouth properly after a retainer every single day damn i feel bad for her man my heart goes out to you, baby girl. I feel so bad for you, man. Damn, man. See, this is why you can't be going to these dentists, man. These dentists don't see nothing but a dollar. You don't know what they putting in your mouth, man. Let me tell you something. Veneers, I'm talking about real good ones, start at least 20K and up. Little Yachty said in his interview that he paid like 90 grand or something like that for his teeth, man. You see what I'm saying? It costs to play. These $5,000 joints that they just giving y'all in Florida, man, that ain't it, man. They putting anything in y'all mouth, man. They don't care. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be very careful who you was going to. Now, there are some good dentists out there. You just got to pay the right money and do your homework because these dentists don't care. And especially in Florida, man, you know nothing good is coming from Florida. I'm just joking. I got love for Florida, y'all. But I'm saying, man, you got to be very careful out here, man. And now you got this beautiful girl, Winter. She is a model and she's all messed up, man. That girl is living in pain every goddamn day, man. She paid 4500 for them teeth. I would have told her, baby girl, that's not enough. And you got to get the ones that are porcelain. Them composite joints, them joints ain't no good, man. Them joints is mixed with sheet rock and foil, man. You don't know what they putting in your gums. Now, let me tell you something, ladies. I don't even like the way them joints be looking. The legs is little. The butt is too big. It just look crazy. It look like you got sheet rock in there. Like, I don't like it, y'all. I like that natural body. Ain't no butt supposed to be that big. Come on, man. Ain't no teeth supposed to be that white. Now, of course, we all want white teeth. But even my dentist told me, yo, your teeth are not supposed to be white like that. You know, we always want white teeth. Like, who wants yellow teeth? You know what I'm saying? But still, like, your teeth are not supposed to be white and perfect like that. I'm not going to lie. I tilt my hat to you, Winter, for the fact that you came online and told people your story. Because you are right. Most people ain't going to come online and tell you they pain. You know what I'm saying? Most people going to cover that up and try to make everything look good. Your story is going to help others. You know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? She spent 80 grand to try to fix it and it still ain't getting fixed. When she had could have took half of that, probably 30, and just did the job the right way the first time. Man, I feel so bad for this woman right here, y'all. Because ain't no woman supposed to be going through this. Ain't no woman or no man, man. Damn, I feel bad for you, baby. I'm just doing this story so I could share some awareness and put some light on this story. And hopefully a good specialist can see this and go help Winter out. That's my whole purpose of doing this. Because that girl needs help. Ain't no woman, ain't no man should be living in pain every day after she done spent 80 grand just to get some nice teeth. So tell me how y'all feel about this, man. Man, it's 100 TV. Like, comment, and subscribe. You are now watching 100 TV, where we always keep it 100 over here. No clickbait, no cap news, just real authentic content. The 100 way.